Right there, folks, welcome back to another video of beer review. Just turn that down a little bit. Um, got another beer from Prime Time. It is Prime Time IPA. Uh, but better, but better. Um, weirdly, saw these guys appear on Dayla, and uh, Dayla's like a drinks wholesaler. Um, I mean, obviously, I sell to and everything. Um, but I saw it on their list today, and I was like, okay. <laughs> and the lager they have, obviously, they've got the caffeinated lager in the cans, which obviously I've been doing uh, a couple of weeks back. I know Simon Well Craft Beer has done a review of it. Weirdly, Simon and I's um, beers that I have here are very similar. So, of course, we've done this, and I've got a ton twice brewed because I went up there two weeks ago, three weeks ago and picked up a load of beers so I've got a ton of twice brewed beers but I don't really want to be uploading them, not that we're going to have the same kind of channels of you know people who drink the, the beers and stuff but um, uh, I know even a couple of weeks and I fucking drink twice brewed, I've had tons of twice brewed beers before anyhow <laughs> let's get back onto this beer um Prime time session IPA, but better. Brewed in England, wheat beer. <laughs> Ninety-five calories, so it's low carb and vegan and gluten free. Oh my god, it could taste of anything if it's all um, crisp, refreshing, and hoppy, which means fuck all. Um, beer, but better for those who demand more. But they demand more, but it's got less in. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's like 30% fewer calories, 63% fewer carbs. Percentage bench benchmarks against other IPAs. What IPAs? You know? Against what other gluten-free IPAs? Anyway, that's about it. Uh, picked up from Waitrose, two for £3.50, and I think they're still running that deal. Or that might have been an introductory offer. Um... Yeah, let's crack it open and see what it's like. The tune in the background, by the way, I've been hunting this track for um, about three or four months. The first time I heard it drop, I'm pretty sure uh, DJ Bone dropped it. And I am very sure as well that either Mark Broom or Ben Sims dropped it. Um, because I really vividly remember um, just a little element of it. Um, where, where it all drops and then fades back in and it hits you and it's and it basically when you're hearing it on a proper sound system it's like you're fucking being slapped sound that you um, just noise is being funneled your way and it's a cracking tune and I forget the guy's name it's actually on this phone that, that's my music phone uh, it's on this one who it's actually by um, but it's called like Summer fucking Summer Groove is what it's called uh, and I'll can't remember the fucking DJ name. Anyway, beer in a glass. That's what you're here for. Not that. <laughs> beer in a glass is a lovely crystal clear. Looks very generic. Nose is. I didn't say what hops are inside of this, but uh, I bank on it being like Cascade, maybe a bit of Chinook. There's a bit of a cat piss note, but it's not like Zimco. A bit like a musty. I, I wouldn't say they've gone to town with some citra or anything like that. It just smells, or maybe, maybe. It's like, it smells kind of like Cascade, Centennial, Chinook sort of thing. Um, we'll dive in. Cheers. Maybe they have put citra, maybe they say about it on their own town. And it's extremely nondescript. Um, there's a relatively cloying multi profile to it. It is strongly multi. What was the ABV? I can't remember if I even read that out. Where the fuck does it say? 4.2. It um, says on the oh, bottom left. Um, yeah. It's it's de definitely the malts are coming out a bit more. This is now not that cheap. It's, it's part of a mix that I found the other night. Um, yeah, it's um very malty, copper coiny sort of notes. 
Um, it's like a like a poor man's uh, Goose Island, like a real poor man's Goose Island. Um, remember, remember that bit where you used to be able to get hold of really easily, and then now you can't find it, and you can't even find them midway, which was, you know, looking back at it, not horrendous. Um, but when you saw it everywhere, you weren't interested in it. But I wouldn't mind having one right now. Um, so yeah, it's just amidst all the 3.4% shite that we're being peddled by both governments who are in charge. Let's not go down. I'm turning into a Peter. I'm turning into a Peter on the videos. Um, yeah. Just just that it's, it's you know, really nondescript and really boring um, and it is everything I thought it would be <laughs> yeah, yeah it's kind of like light citrus light pininess um, multi copper coin sort of thing uh, it's just not great and again wheaty meh. Um, it tastes weirdly kind of like it's been um, a real hot mash and it's like a bit too hot of a mash or something. You get funny like little flavours that come through the beer afterwards. Anyway, primetime IPA, but better. I don't, don't agree with you. It is worse. See you next one. Cheers.